Welcome to episode 20 of Vampire Survivors Like Game in Unity. In last episode we have implemented upgrades to the weapon we have. They don't have any actual effects yet. But today we want to introduce an ability to acquire new weapons. Create a new upgrade data. Here I downloaded from game icons new icon for our throwing a dagger. Because we want this upgrade to unlock the weapon, set the type to be weapon unlock. Add the throwing knife weapon acquire upgrade into the list of available upgrades. Now we need to mark what weapon this upgrade will unlock. So in the upgrade data create public field for weapon data. So because this upgrade will unlock the throwing daggers, reference the weapon data of throwing daggers. Good. Now we need to use this weapon data to add the weapon to the player. When he selects this upgrade. In the weapon manager we have a method called add weapon, which we can call when we select the upgrades with unlock weapon. Open level script. Inside, in the upgrade, we need to determine the type of selected upgrade. And based on the type of upgrade, we can apply upgrade effect to the weapon or unlock a new weapon or add a new passive item. If our upgrade type is a weapon unlock, add a new weapon. To do this, we need to cache the reference to the weapon manager. Now if I get the throwing dagger as an unlock, it should add the new weapon to our character. Good. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. If you join at $10 or more, you will get access to project files on Patreon. Want to populate our upgrade list with upgrades available for weapons on the character. So select drawing knife and create a list of upgrades. Let's create three upgrades for the throwing knife. For convenience, for the searching in the future, let's call them throwing knife and in the brackets name of the upgrade.
Ok, now add those three upgrades into the drawing knife weapon data into the list of available upgrades for this weapon. Good. Now when you add this weapon, you want to add the upgrades available to this weapon into the upgrade pool. So after we add the weapon, we want to try to get the level component. If it is present on this character, we will add the upgrades into the list of available upgrades. So now, if I acquire a weapon, it should add its upgrade list to list of available upgrades. So later on, we will be able to choose them. Good. Right now, we have upgrades for our starting weapon, replaced by us into the list of upgrades. Let's change this. First, let's remove those upgrades from the list. And because how we implemented our weapon upgrades, the only thing which we need to do is to add those weapon upgrades into the weapon data of the VIP, which is our starting weapon. Good. Right now those upgrades do nothing. But in next episode we will make them apply some upgrade effects on your weapons. If you have any questions or any ideas, leave your comment below. Please subscribe for more episodes. You can find my Patreon in the description. Special thank you to Andrew Vilong, The Salt Hashdu, Fari Pese and LP Massive for their generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.